Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, the Bronze Goddess, and this is the much requested fair faucet look. Um, it's all about how you drape the hair, and so if you don't know what I'm talking about, you're gonna have to watch the video to figure it out. But this is it. Kind of, I kind of fluffed it up a little bit, but this is it. This is how you get that feathered look with your locks. It looks like the wind is blowing like this. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> if you want to watch the video, you got. If you want this hair, if you want this. To be you, watch the video. All right, stay tuned. Hey guys, what's up? This is your girl. I am the Bronze Goddess, and this is a lock tutorial. So shout out to my lock lovers out there. It's been a while. I know, I know, I know. So I thought I would at least come back and do a style that you guys um, have been requesting. So this is my lock Farrah Fawcett look. Shout out to Farrah Fawcett. Um, may you rest in peace. Um, so inspired by her. Um, this was, this defined Charlie's Angels. And I'm so happy that I was able to do the style with my locks. Just another way to show you that locks can be very, very versatile. But anyway, with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into the look. Now let me tell you what you're going to need. You're going to need um, just some black, like rubber bands. You can get these from your beauty supply store. Just some little tiny black rubber bands. You're going to need that. And you're also going to need some hair pins. Um, I prefer using hair pins rather than bobby pins. But you're going to need some hair pins as well. Um, so let's get started. Now for this look, um, this is a lot like my Barbie look. Which is the reason why I didn't do a tutorial. I thought I thought it was easy. I thought it was too easy. <laughs> but it was cute though. Okay, so what you're going to do is... Um, you're going to take a couple of rubber bands. I prefer using black, obviously, so nobody will be able to tell. And um, just place those to the side. Now, the key to this style is draping, how you drape the hair. Uh, I got asked a question. I get asked this question quite often. People are always asking me about parting. Is parting important? All that stuff. Yes, parting is very important. Now, it's not... It's not major, 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 um, because I did my locks myself, and I'm not the best person to part hair. I did okay. Like, this is my parting hair. See, it's not, like, perfect or anything, but um, it gets the job done. I mean, I know people have, like, the triangular parts and the diamond parts. That's fabulous. But um, I did my hair myself, and I wasn't that smooth with it. So, anyway, so it's all about... Getting your hair down the middle as much as you can. Like I said, mine is not perfect. It's definitely not perfect, but it's, it's decent. Once you section the hair in half, then you're going to um, grab sections of your hair, depending on how big you want to drape. What you're going to do is you're going to grab little sections of hair, and then you're going to flip them backwards like this, the way you want them on your face. So I'm going to grab a hair tie, or a little rubber band, and I'm going to do, I want mine to be rather chunky, so I'm going to do a big, big sections. So you take the little rubber band and bring it down as far as you can to the very end, like that. And once you've gotten it like that, what you're going to do is you're going to flip, flip the hair. You find how you, however you want to drape it, and you're going to flip it. And once you've got it where you want it, you're going to take a um, hairpin and you're going to secure it. Just like this. But like I said, the key to it is how you want to drape it. Now, I contemplating curling my hair, like curling the hair and then trying to pin it, but uh, I didn't like that. I think it looks better when it looks more like feathered, like a, you know, like it's faking people out with a feathered look like that. So then once I've done that, I'm going to do like two on each side, like really, really easy. So I'm going to do it again. Go down as far as I can. My locks are not all one length. So go down as far as I can. And then I'm going to flip it back. Fan it and flip it back. And then I'm going to take another hairpin and secure that as well. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. So just keep watching. Okay, sorry guys, I'm back. Okay, so like I said, secure the end, and then I'm going to flip it back a little bit, and then I'm just going to secure it. Now, I'm kind of leaving the back down like how it was in that video. Um, you can curl it or whatever you want to do, but I kind of like it like this. It just looks kind of feathered, and that's only doing like two sections 
of the hair. So now I'm ready to work on the other side. Now on the other side of my head, I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to take a nice, decent sized chunk. Like I said, the key to this look is a nice part, which you can tell my roots need to be twisted. You guys know why I rarely retwist. I mean, I, if I told you once, I told you twice. But yeah, uh, I rarely retwist, so um, my roots are always looking like that until I'm, yeah. See, it's all about how you want to drape it. You want to drape it high, you want to drape, I like to drape mine a little bit lower, like this, and I want it to be kind of even with the other side. Then I'm going to go ahead and secure it. Like I said, it, it may not be exactly like how it was in that video, but this is pretty close. And then I'm going to do the same thing one more time. Grab another uh, rubber band and flip it. It's all about how you drape it. That's the key. It's simple. It's a very, very simple style. But most people can't figure out how it's done. And that's what makes it kind of cool. Like, how do, you, how do you get your locks to do that? That's the part that makes it, you know, kind of exciting. Because nobody knows how do you make your hair look like it's um, feathered. Your locks look feathered. So for the most part, this is the look. Um, to see how I rocked it originally, I would suggest watching the video. I'm going to leave the link in the description box. But this is pretty close to the look that I was rocking. Like I said, I'm still kind of working on it because I'm really not sure what to do with the bottom part of my hair. I'm not sure if I'm going to like um, flip that as well or if I'm going to put it in a bun or whatever, just leave it down. But um, for the most part, this is the look. So anyway, that's the way for you to get your hair looking like your locks are feathered like this. That's how I do it. So we'll see you ladies and gentlemen in the next video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and definitely subscribe. Until next time, later divas, peace. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, now the style I was just doing, it looked a little bit different and I couldn't figure out for the life of me like what was so different. And I'm, I figured it out so I'm gonna definitely share it with you. Uh, when I draped it just now, I was draping it a little too high. I think the best way is to drape it lower. Um, so, um, what I did was just, I have two on each, you know, one on each side, and I'm draping it very, very low. I think that's what it is that made it kind of flow with the back of my head a little bit more seamlessly. I think I was just draping it too high. So when you do yours, drape it lower, and then I think it's going to come out better. See, yeah, that's already, like, that's better. I think I was just draping mine, like, way too high. But I like this look better than the look that I had just now. But it's still feathered looking. Just when you drape it, drape it very, don't drape it all high like this. Unless you like that look, um, drape it lower like this. Okay? Anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys that. So um, just in case you were wondering why it looks different, uh, I figured it out. You want to do lower and then secure it. Like so. Like this, darling. Just do that and do this and then do this and then you're just funky fresh. Yes, yeah, I like this so much better. Because see, this is the thing. People don't know how, how do you do it. How do you get your locks to look feathered? Is it curled? Is it it's magic? Alright? So, till next time, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you, ladies and gentlemen, in the next video. You know I love you. You know I do. Deuces. At first I was afraid. I was petrified. To think that I could ever live without you by my side I should have changed that stupid lock I should have thrown away the key You back to bother me, I know that I I will survive I know that I can never live without you by my side I mean, I don't know. Anyway, I'm, I'm silly, it is late and I am crunk And for some reason this hair, this hair is very 70s And it makes me want to want to sing Songs, disco songs. <laughs> songs like, it's raining, man. Hallelujah, it's raining, man. Okay, I'm going to shut it on down. Love you, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys in the next video. For real this time. Deuces.